Hi everyone, it's Don, and I hope you're having a fantastic week. Well, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about what there is to do on a carnival cruise. A lot of people look into carnival, but don't really know <laughs> what there is to do. One of the first things you should do is look into the Punchline Comedy Club. That's on most of their ships and they always usually have a headliner or two acts going as well and it can be a great time but if you don't want to be part of the comedy you might want to just avoid those front rows. It's nice to have like a dedicated comedy club where you're not in a, like a thousand person theater and you're sitting way in the back looking at a little figure way down on stage. I much prefer a more intimate area and Carnival Cruise Lines has that in spades. Number two, take in some of the pool parties, whether it's the, you know, the, the belly flop contest or the dance contest or just the sail away parties, take in the parties around the pool deck on Carnival Cruise Line. It's light, it's peppy music, it's just a lot of fun, a lot of people just enjoying themselves and it's nothing too serious, you don't have to participate but sometimes it's just fun being a people watcher. Number four, if you have kids, they're going to love Dr. Seuss. They're going to love uh, all the different things that they have on board. They have story times, they have movies, and for a special treat, book them into Green Eggs and Ham Breakfast because, uh, yeah, they really are green eggs and ham, and the kids just love these kind of things. And to be honest, a lot of us adults who grew up with Dr. Seuss feel the exact same way. Now, if... Green eggs and ham are kind of like your dining taste. You got to try out Guy's Burger. Guy Ferrari uh, is known for his television show and for all the different foods he eats. And he, he does, he's not known for small little tasting plates and little tables or things like that. He's known for something that's big and juicy and large and huge and something you want to just have a hard time. You just, you just can't get your whole mouth on it. And it's, it's just something you have to try. You may think that your burgers around your home have some of those, but try his because they're monstrous. Another thing you really should take in is the Hasbro game shows. And these are exactly kind of what it sounds like. It's like Connect 3 and games like that that Hasbro has brought out over the years, except it's in a huge, large, oversized, it's kind of like giant Jenga to regular Jenga and you uh the kids have a great time the adults have a great time it's uh you compete for prizes and don't be afraid to participate once in a while i never participated as much on my last cruise in game shows as i did and i had a great time um mostly because i travel alone but if you're with people and you know people on there that's a great activity for the whole group another really good thing on carnival cruises is their live music. On multiple locations on the ship throughout the night, they generally have live music playing and you can usually find something that fits your taste. It might be classical in one area. It might be, you know, hip hop in another area. It might be country in another. You can generally find some music that you will like and you will like to dance to and a lot of it is live on Carnival Ship. So check out your daily planner and look around and find out where those musical venues are and check them out because some of the bands are a lot of fun to interact with and they play some really good music. Number seven I'd have to say is the waterworks. Not only for kids. On a hot day in the middle of the Caribbean just jump into the pool area, jump up on the slides, go for a water slide ride, go for whatever is up there because it's a great way to cool off and it makes you kind of feel like a kid again and a young at heart. And so if you're able, check out the waterworks. And especially if you have a family, you got to spend a lot of time there. So you want to get away from it all. You want a little less noise, a little less kids around, a little less party atmosphere. Head off to the Serenity area, the adult only area on Carnival. It's a much more relaxing, kind of like a spa-like setting that you can get away from a lot of the noise and you can just unwind and relax and just get away from everything else that's going on on the ship. If that's what you're looking for and you want that quiet time, that's probably the best place you're going to find it on the ship. And if you want to relax even more than the Serenity area, check out 
the spa section. Carnival has a great selection of spa and activities, massages, treatments. They also tend to be a little bit cheaper than some of the other cruise lines. So if you've always wanted to get that couple's massage or that hot stone massage, but you always found it just a little bit pricey, try Carnival because they really do have some great options there. And if you really want a massage, there's no reason Carnival won't suit the bill. So check out the spa area when you're on board. Every ship is different. They have different features on them. So try out whatever unique features are on those ships. One of the Carnival ships coming out new is going to have a roller coaster on it. Others have great big huge water slides that spin you around and twirl you around and drop you down below. They have the sky bikes where you can ride the bikes around the outer edge of the ship and you can get some great views of both the ocean, the islands surrounding, wherever you're stopped at, as well as really nice shots of the pool. So if you're a photographer and looking for that unique shot that you don't get anywhere else, just jump on those sky bikes because you'll be surprised at just how great a shot you can get. So there you have, those are 10 things that I would recommend trying on a Carnival Cruise. Like I said, every ship is different, but most of them have these features on board. And a lot of things people just tend to avoid off the top, just hearing Hasbro Game Show, well, that won't interest me until you do it. And then you find out, wow, that was a lot of fun. Or a pool party up on deck, not really my style, but oh man, it was fun to watch. So check some of those out. Let me know some things down below that I might have missed here that you think everyone should try out on a Carnival ship. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world? Hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.